Hi, my name is Suel Pozel, and in this video, I will show you how to customize machines in NetFab and use different build plates and no build zones. Here, we're in NetFab 2022, and we'll go to My Machines and show you a Renishaw machine. Here, we have a Renishaw machine with 248mm by 248mm XY, and its Z is 300mm. When we hit Open, we get the default uh, printer workspace loaded up into NetFab. We see the build plate and we see the four no build zones. Let's take a closer look at the no build zones and you will see that there are four predefined no build zones. If I wanted to customize this, I can do so by going into my machines and creating a duplicate of this machine. Let's go ahead and duplicate it. And here is a duplicate and I have to go into the edit and make this a customizable machine. After I save it, this machine right here can be edited. We can go to its settings and choose different build plate sizes and different no build zones. But of course, to do that, we would have to create 3MF files that represents the new build plate and the new no build zones. When I'm ready, I can choose them right here. That's the new 3MF file for the build plate. And that is the new no build zones for this new machine. Now let me show you how I create these 3MF files. To do that, I use Fusion. I'll go back in my time history to show you how I built these models. Uh, first, I created a sketch. Let's go ahead and edit that sketch to show you what that looks like. And instead of using the 248, for example, I used 150. And I built in a region where there would be a uh, the bolt holes. And I extruded the geometry and I created my build plate, customized build plate component. Then I built a subassembly for the no build zones and I built two components and I placed them. Now, if I want to take this information out of Fusion and put it into NetFab, all I have to do is go to the object that I want to export, in this case, the build plate, right click and say, save as mesh, choose 3MF, hit okay. If I wanted to do the same for the no build zones, I select it, the subassembly, right click, save as mesh, and export that as a 3MF file. And that's how I create the 3MFs. Let's go back into NetFab and proceed. Do I want to keep the original platform? I actually don't want to keep it. Do I want to keep the original build zones? Don't want to keep them either. I want a total custom version of this. When I hit save, you will notice that this still has the original build zone of 248 by 248. I did not change that yet. I will show you what this looks like without changing it. And then I'll make a change and show you that as well. Hit open. Here you can see the build volume in its entirety as if nothing has changed, but a new build plate and two new no build zones are in here. I could keep this and proceed with my setup, or I could change the build volume itself to match this 150 by 150. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Go to my machines, go to the duplicate version of it, edit, and instead of 248, I say 150 by 150, and keep the original 300, save. So now I have a complete duplicate with complete custom version. When I open this one, a third build space will appear. I can delete the original two if I want to. And here we are looking at our custom build plate and custom no build zones. So go ahead and create your own custom build plates and custom no build zones for your customized machine dimensions.